Hey guys, so with all the depressing news the last couple of weeks about the rust in my bus and all the issues that I'm having to deal with there, I thought I'd share some good news with you this week. This arrived today. So I thought I'd share with you exactly what it is and why I'm so stoked to get one. So one of the things that you have to consider when you're going to live in a bus or any sort of motorhome or camper van for that matter um, is what you're going to do for cooking and what sort of cooking appliances you're going to install on board. Now if you're in a house there's two main options usually you can either use gas stove or electric stove and it's the same is pretty much the case in a bus however um, the thing that you have to be aware of is that any electrical appliance that functions to to generate heat needs to use an enormous amount of power in order to do that and so you know I plan for my bus to be completely off-grid I want to be as self-sufficient as possible when it comes to power consumption and so you know I'm gonna have solar panels on the roof and depending on my budget hopefully a decent amount of um, battery power capacity so I hope to be able to run most things without having to worry too much about uh, running out of power but it's something I have to be mindful of and certainly having an electric stove that you use every day places an enormous load on your battery so you know it's it's good to look at other options and that's why most people for caravans and motorhomes tend to go with gas cooking. I decided very early on that I didn't want to have any gas appliances in my bus mostly because of the potential safety risk. I mean obviously gas is extremely flammable when you've got other fuel sources and things going on with engines in the bus you know I just didn't want the risk of you know having my gas bottles explode and my bus going up in flames because it does happen but also I just didn't want the extra hassle and expense of having to get gas installation certified and signed off by a qualified gas fitter because in Australia that's a requirement for a motorhome it must be installed um, and actually certified by um, a qualified technician so you know I'm on a limited budget it was just one extra thing and one extra hassle that I didn't want so you know I decided that I didn't want any gas in the bus there's a few other options for cooking uh, you can get diesel cookers um, which I've read a little bit about and I'm certainly considering that option but they're very expensive there aren't that many available in Australia and the reviews that I've read online you know haven't been that great and I haven't really been inspired by um, the diesel cookers. Now there's another option that not as many people are aware of and that is the alcohol burning stoves. Now if you're a camper and you're familiar with the little portable Trangia camp stoves that run on methylated spirits then you'll understand what I'm talking about and these kinds of stoves have also up until now been quite popular in um, for people that live on boats and marine applications um, and basically the alcohol stoves work very similar to gas that obviously instead of using gas as the fuel they actually will burn um, methylated spirits or similar alcohol. So they burn very cleanly, cheap to run. You can get metho um, from Bunnings or any hardware store pretty much anywhere in the country. And you know I've, I've had my Trangia camp stove for years and I absolutely love it. So that option really appealed to me and so um, you know in the process of researching all the things that I was going to put in my bus I had the alcohol burning stoves kind of bookmarked on my computer for um, for what I wanted to get. Now I noticed over the last few months that some of those um, links that I had to the stoves for places that I could buy them in Australia started to like that began to stop working like the links didn't work or the shop would say that the product was out of stock and I recently went to the caravan and camping show in Brisbane and I spoke to the guys at the Dometic store because Dometic were the ones that um, were distributing this product in Australia and they told me that the Orojo alcohol stoves were actually being discontinued they weren't manufacturing them anymore and there was actually none left in the distributor warehouses at all in Australia and they didn't really have any firm date as to if or when they'd be back in stock so 
that was a bit frustrating because all this time I'd sort of planned that that was what I was going to put in my bus and now all of a sudden just when I've got my bus and I'm ready to start they're suddenly not available so I've been frantically searching online um, every marine supply store searching on Gumtree to see if I could get one second hand and I finally came across a shop in Australia that sells marine um, products. I'll put a link in the description below. And they actually had some of the Orijo alcohol burning soap still in stock. So I managed to get one and that's what's arrived today. Now I was originally hoping to get a double burner. The only ones they had left were a single burner and you know, I'm, I'm happy with that because I don't cook with two pots at the same time very often. Most of the time I only need the one burner and usually if I'm using a second pot it's just to cook something simple like rice or pasta and I can easily do that in my little portable Trangia camp stove which I'll um, be taking with me. So this is what it looks like. This particular one is designed to actually sit into the bench top so the top of it sits flush with the counter so it looks nice and neat. And if you open it up you can see the canister where the methylated spirits actually goes. So I'll probably do another video on this when I come to install it in the bus and then I can show you how I install it and exactly how it works. I'm really stoked that I managed to find one of these because I was just I was about to give up hope of ever getting one for my bus. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty pleased to have found one and uh, very happy to have it in my hot little hands this week. Mm -hmm.